Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm here with Chris at the Mesker Park Zoo. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Nice we'll to see you again. again. It's been about a year. Yeah. So it's nice to talk to you again. My hair is longer. And we're here with a very bizarre creature. Yes. So, what is this? Uh, this is a Sicilian, which we're pretty sure is how you call it. But it's a really interesting creature because it's an amphibian, but it's not what people think of when they think of amphibians. It doesn't have any legs. It's it's actually pretty physically different from frogs and toads and salamanders and all that. So much so that it's in a different classification within amphibians. But these tend to be tropical. They're kind of not super well known compared to other animals because they're either burrowing or they're aquatic, so they're hard to see. We have an aquatic species. Like I said, no limbs. They don't even have vestigial legs like a snake might. But they're very well adapted to being burrowing or aquatic creatures. Ours have a little bit of a fin on the end, they can, uh, their musculature is, so, is such that they can move very easily in the water, they can pull backwards, they can go forwards really easily. Uh, we just, we got video footage of them eating, and you can see how, how much movement they can do. They have very well designed uh, heads for burrowing, they got strong jaws and a kind of a blunt, powerful snout so they can dig if they want to. And these, these guys can dig too, uh, just not as common as the terrestrial ones. So very strange. Amphibians, they're kind of evolved in the same way that burrowing creatures like an earthworm or maybe even a, a legless lizard or a snake might. Uh, some of their lung structures even similar to how a snake might be and that one lung is much bigger than the other. They're just pretty cool and I'm glad you're doing this video because people will know a little bit more about them. I didn't even know about it until our point of contact was like, hey, we're going to do Sicilians. I'm like, I have no clue what that like, is. Sure, why not? So I did a quick Google search and I'm like, if I didn't know what it is, then other people might not know what it is either, so yeah. let's do a video about it. And just to clear it up, what are we uh, feeding them so people uh, can know what they're So eating. they're carnivorous, no fruit loops this time. They, uh, they eat like some fish, we, we uh, they used to feed them clams, but we don't really have that here. So fish, we feed them earthworms, a little bit of gel food, not too much. Uh, they used to eat bloodworms when they were smaller, but they're a little bit bigger now and just kind of gets all over the place, so we change that. And then some krill. Uh, funny you should mention, when they're younger, they, we fed them a lot more often, but we're actually cutting out feed days now because they're adults, they don't need to grow as much, so they don't need to eat every single day anymore, so I think they're down to about five days a week, and we'll continue to cut it down until uh, they're at their adult feed schedule. And are these fully grown yet, or are they? They're getting, they're getting, getting close, they're getting close. Uh, 18 to 22 inches for this species is about wow. as big as they get, which, they're getting there. But there are larger species as well. But uh, we definitely wouldn't be housing them in this tank if they were five foot feet long, for example. Uh, then this would be like too small for this one, right? Yeah, yeah, we definitely. Like, right, thing. yeah. If they were bigger than this, we'd, we'd have to have a bigger tank. So, I don't think they have too good eyesight because when you put the coat in there, they're, no. they're just sniffing around or like searching for yeah. it, forging for it. Eyesight is not their go to sense. Uh, sense of smell is important. They can see some things, they can sense light and dark, and they actually have noticed when we change things in the exhibit, like our little uh, our little exit water line for the water. When we put that in there, they're like, what is that? But sense of smell is important. In fact, they do actually have a little bit of a tentacle in between the nostrils and the eyes, which help them find food. And you're telling us that they give life growth, too. Right. When I think of amphibians, I think of laying eggs, I think of external fertilization, I think of metamorphosis throughout one's life. But there are some Sicilians that, that do that, they lay eggs and everything. But in this species, it's internal fertilization, it's uh, giving live birth. The young basically come out as small adults, so they do have some gills that they quickly shed once they're able to breathe air, which this species does. In fact, sometimes you see them come up to the surface and gulp some air. But I think they do have some, some uh, Breathing through the skin as well, like some uh, frogs and right, and yeah, stuff. still an amphibian, but just yeah. an interesting amphibian, I guess you could say. And how does the coloration help them, like if at all, since they burrow? You know, I'm not sure. These guys, they're kind of gray, which might blend in with the murky water they live in. But some species of uh, Sicilians have a very different coloration too. It might be black, it might be brown. It might be even some more brighter colors, maybe to warn of potential poisons, since some of the species can be poisonous. But I would think with these guys, they're probably going to li be living in a little bit more murkyish water, so maybe that coloration helps them there. 
I was thinking that I was going to go like some murky water since our eyesight's not that good. Right. Because if it's clear water like this out of the wild, you kind of want to see. Yeah. I think the water here is probably more for guests to check out because they can't handle up oh, breathing a little bit. They can't handle uh, water that we might necessarily think of as being as clean as we would want. Well, thank you so much for talking about these Sicilians. I, he got another piece of food over there. Yeah. And I think we're fine actually. Yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you again. All right. Well, thanks for coming. No problem. See you and I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and also check out my Instagram, at Culture. As always, I'll see you next week. Ring the bell.